Saturday morning and Daniel Malith is seeing off friends who have been helping him with construction work in his compound. He is on his way to the launch of a much-awaited human rights campaign. Stand up for someone's rights today. Daniel is an accountant, but this year he is taking some time off work to set up an organization aimed at bringing South Sudanese together and advocating for the rights of others. After we know how to stand for the right of others, we can be able to come together as South Sudanese. And that is the major aim. If you know the right of your friend and your right, and friend knows your right, then you can be able to share the same way to unity. As, and that is what we really want as Sudanese to be united and to know where we have gone wrong so that we can correct it as early as possible. Through an organization launched with a friend, the Rural Community Development Organization, RCDO, they have worked with the Human Rights Division of the United Nations Mission in South Sudan to train up to 50 South Sudanese to advocate for the rights of others. The most important thing is to come and forgive yourself. You forgive your friend, your colleagues. Now it is very hard. We have fought a number of wars as South Sudanese and it is very hard to come together. And that is why we even forget the right of other people. So I'm telling South Sudanese, if we cannot avoid fighting, we need, if we cannot reunite after fighting, then we need to avoid fighting. With pianists playing and drummers pounding away, song and dance filled the launch venue as popular musicians sang songs highlighting human rights issues. Drawing from his personal experience with ethnic division in his own home country, Burundi, Anmis Human Rights Director, urged the people of South Sudan to move away from similar tensions to focus on peace building in the young nation. What's your vision? And even the singer was still saying that we need peace. We cannot have peace in South Sudan if we have this kind of behavior if we are not really fighting for someone's right today, every day. His call is echoed by the chairperson of the South Sudan Human Rights Commission. Njol Justinyak urged the young people present to stand up for the rights of others and to strive for peace and stability. South Sudan as a country is actually a product of human rights. It was a country that waged its destiny, destiny through fights, through consistent calls for human rights. Okay, now the first excuse was... I want to see a prosperous nation, South Sudan, where human rights uh, are respected and human rights by nation are minimized in the country. We want to see a country where people are living in harmony. There is a coexistence of the neighbors. With the future of South Sudan resting in the hands of 70% of the population under the age of 30, Daniel is determined to join with them to advocate for the rights of others and for peace.